All right. Working on the C10. Got this little video for you. These are a mirror kit. Comes with hardware, round mirrors. Got this on eBay, actually. Um, five inch round mirrors, and it comes with the arms. And if you notice, the arms have the three bolt design. And I've seen a lot of other arms. That's another arm, right, left arm. And then my door has a three bolt design. So one, two, three, and I'm hoping that's the same pattern. Because a lot of the other doors I saw, the mirrors that looked really good, there are one bolt here that's small, and then two bolts here that's staggered. And as you can tell, one hole, 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 one hole. I got a lot of holes to fill. And I'm not too happy about filling a bunch of extra holes. So I'm not drilling any new holes. I'm just trying to make these existing ones fit the mirrors. So I'm going to do a little install video and see what works. And this is that three bolt design. And I'm hoping exactly. So this mount fits 70 door perfect. I don't have to draw any new holes. So as long as these come with a backer, I'll have perfect side mirrors that fit. I feel there's a gasket. Another gasket. Bolts. So they give you two bolts, but they don't give you a backer plate. So let's see what comes with the mirror part of this. The metal backer I'm talking about is just a uh, nut kit, piece of metal with weld nuts on it. And you screw into that piece of metal, then you got a backer that's against the door, and your nuts can tighten up against. Some of these uh, aftermarket companies have them, this one doesn't, so we'll have to make something. But it'll look good. Good looking setup. Put this together real quick so you guys can see it. So, give you an idea how that's going to look. Pretty awesome. Nice round meter, five inch round, tons of visibility, easy to aim, easy to adjust, so it's going to be pretty cool. And it's, it looks like it fits the body lines of the truck. They had big squares, I think they were like a seven inch square, wasn't really a fan of that design. So I'm glad I went with these round ones.
All right, after a few days wait, we got the backing brackets I was telling you about. So what these do, see how that lines up with the holes? This actually goes inside the door and that's what holds your nuts from the inside. Now we're gonna go ahead and put together the mirror on this side just to check it out. Stay tuned. All right, now we're gonna mount this thing. Got your screwdriver. Where is it? Well, that's gonna need it. Yeah. There's no good way to reach your arm in there. See what I'm saying? If you just hold it in there with the screwdriver. Don't pull the door apart. Probably. I don't think you can reach that high up. It's in the very front. Oh, I can't get it. Alright. So he's holding that plate in. I'm going to go ahead and start a screw. Definitely a job for two people. Um, unless you got really skinny hands. And then you might be able to do it, but I don't have very skinny hands. Remember that I can't get on that. That went right in. Should have been a three bolt pad. But in, yeah. This is just so we can see it. And that's about how she'll look. Looks a lot better than the truck side mirrors. Definitely looks more like it fits this body of the truck. It does have the correct three bolt holes that were already in the door. There you go. Just make sure you order backing plates because it doesn't come with them. This will have to come back off. We'll have to take care of that piece of rubber to seal it. But for right now, at least you guys get to see what it looks like. Now Mr. Skeleton can see in there. Yep, now Mr. Skeleton can look in the rear view mirror. See what's behind him. Pat, change lanes with ease. <laughs>